in my case, clearly my my great grandfather on both sides, um, I have the, the the documents. In addition to being, you know, working on the land in India and being landless peasant uh, laborers, but they were also um, purohits. Okay. They, they, yeah. So they they started as uh, um, started both to doing. They were indentured workers, but they were also serving the community by the performance of religious rites and rituals. So on both sides of my family, my maternal um, grandfather was a priest, a Hindu priest, and so was also my paternal um, grandfather. So in that sense, I grew up with a very um, in a home, uh, an extended family home that was deeply influenced and infused with, with um, uh, Hindu tradition. There are some very core, and for me, in a sense, non-negotiable teachings of the Hindu tradition. They, they are articulated in different ways, I would say, um, in the, in different traditions, but I think there are places where where all Hindus will find some consensus or find some shared orientations. And here, 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 I would um, mention a few of, of these. Mm -hmm. One is the fundamental dignity of 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 all living beings, the fundamental dignity of all living beings that comes from the shared teaching that whatever name we may use, I mean, the Upanishad speaks of Brahman, the more theistic traditions have their own particular names for the divine, whether it's, uh, you know, Vishnu, Shiva, or, or, or Devi, Durga, Mahashakti. But we all agree in one way or the other that this divine reality exists equally in all beings, and all beings exist in it. And it is the fundamental source of, of value and, and, and dignity. In other words, for me as a Hindu, I cannot honor the divine and dishonor a human being. Akarachari lakha chaurasi. Jati Jeeva Jalathala Naba Basi. And this is where the, the line Siya Ram Mai Sab Jag Jani Karahu Pranam Jor Jugupani. Yeah, but. You know, where this has this very beautiful description of a world of innumerable living realities, uncountable. But I know one thing he says Siya Ram Mai. That they all, you know, that the divine is within all. They've come from the divine. And therefore, he expresses this reverence. I bring my hands together in, in, in reverential um, acknowledgement of, of every one of, of them. And, and that, that for me is, is a really a core uh, Hindu teaching, a core Hindu vision. You know, it's a vision of a, a divine reality that is not outside of our universe. No. It is not a supernatural being existing outside and occasionally interacting with our universe, but the vision of a divine that interpenetrates everything, uh, in whom everything exists and everyone exists and who exists in everything. Uh, from Tulsi Das, you know, I think, and I should have, I, I think I got my... <laughs> My early understanding of what what ahimsa, even though I probably didn't know the word, but I I, yeah. I knew what what yeah. what it meant. You know, if I may share with you that uh, for me the riveting moment, I first read the Ramcharit Manas in 1993 because I was very deeply disturbed by the demolition in Ayodhya. Yes. and uh, a cousin of mine who was very worried that you know I was looking so deeply troubled, said, why don't you start reading the Ramayana on a daily basis? 
and uh, i must say that i did it you know just as you sometimes start doing something because somebody who cares for you deeply has said you should do it but you don't really yet feel yourself yeah. so committed to it but within the first five pages i was hooked because when tulsi is doing the vandanas you know he begins with yeah. all the vandanas yes yes he also bows to the dusht yes 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 he does <laughs> that's i i have noted that and i have often spoken of that as well um and this is why that text you know that i quoted to you siaram mai sab jag jag is so inclusive ji ji it, that's it, right it, it, everyone is 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 invited and included in this family even the jigusta and also prabhu murat dekhi tin taisi ke matlab yeah. every person and that means then it then that applies across different faiths and denominations yes will see the divine in their own way yes 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 Ab- absolutely um rajni ji i'm so happy that you mentioned that um it's a very unique perspective that i have not found anywhere you know as explicitly as as to see that does it and he, in fact he lists all of these people who are doers of unethical actions and says even to them you know i i, I in what he's saying you know i see the divine image even in them even though they may not see it i see it yeah <laughs> Yeah. i see it because of that I, i i express my reverence so i put it in the in, in, my understanding of ahimsa in the context of of this um advaita which ahimsa is is also a practice of peace making i would want to say it is it, it is certainly you know abstention from non injury but i think it's more than more than that i think it's a is an ethic and a practice of of peace making in in communities himsa which is you know hurting or violence is 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 based on a on truth a fundamental on truth um philosophically which is that it denies the fundamental truth that all human beings uh share a, a deep fundamental spiritual unity and that is and if we if we saw this unity our relationship with others out of this unity or this unity nourishes sustains relationships of love and and goodwill and not not hate and ill will so the, ahimsa flows directly from a vision of life's um fundamental unity and it's a vision of hope also that that everyone could be transformed um no one is lost everyone could be transformed by this by this awakening so i see ahimsa also as as a teaching about hope 